Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the great state of Missouri. More specifically, Branson, Missouri. And even more specifically than that, we are in front of the world's largest toy museum. Not only is that probably the truth, but it is the actual name of the attraction. They have quite an expansive complex here filled with every toy imaginable. So please, follow me. Yep, you can see it right on the sign there. The name is the world's largest toy museum. This vintage car here. If you look on the side, it says the toy police. I guess uh, Popeye is uh, part of the toy police. It says ride the twirly bird. I guess this would be an old kid's ride. At one point would have probably lifted up into the air a little bit. They have this train mural on the side of the building here. Just packed with different characters from Howdy Doody, Mighty Mouse, Garfield, there's Bugs Bunny, Dr. Seuss, some Disney characters, there's Elmer Fudd holding Pinocchio. Oh, there's Bozo. Hey, there's Garfield again. And the, uh, the Hulk, more Mickey, more Donald, and then this crazy looking Jack in the Box driving the train. See the giant teddy bear right there. Over here at the entrance, we have these lions that uh, are full of flowers. I believe these actually used to be drinking fountains. Uh, you would see them at parks sometimes, these fiberglass lion drinking fountains. All right, let's head in. There's a functioning time machine right there. And through this glass, we can spot not only Batman there, but uh, Superman as well. And I believe this talking tree here is from the old F.A.O. Schwartz uh, toy stores. Uh, Ronald McDonald there, I think he has a, maybe was a balloon inflator at one point. You can see he has a balloon mechanism in his mouth. Now here's the original Hamburglar. He became actually a little less disturbing over the years. Look at that pink dinosaur. Looks like its mouth may have moved at one point. Maybe it was an animatronic from somewhere. All right, so look at this. They said that there is over a million toys in this museum. They said that this Rolls Royce is actually um, the car that Queen Elizabeth used uh, when she would come to the American Embassy. Yeah, it's almost hard to focus in on individual things, but you can see the old tin Mickey Mouse there. Is that, uh, is that Mr. Magoo, I think? Mr. Magoo? You can see an early bobblehead there. Got a little hula girl. Some bicycle toys. Some, uh, vintage Santa Clauses. And a monkey section. So this is Bombo, Bombo the Monk is his name. <laughs> Some, uh, oh, look at those mechanical gorillas back there. Some monkey playing the bongos. And, um, these guys always, always scared me when I was a little kid. Little duck section here. You can see all these tin wind-up ducks. A different little, little bears. This little panda right there. It's a drumming bear. And this little pig with, I don't know what that is on its head. <laughs> Looks like, I don't know, a par Parmesan cheese shaker maybe? It's cooking a little egg there. Oh, there's another, another uh, chef pig. This comes from a time when children would play with dolls made after <laughs> drunken old men. <laughs> you can see he would drink his like a action where he'd drink his martini. This guy's hold on to a, a light post to keep himself from uh, falling over drunk. 
Ah, that was the classic days of toys, back when kids played with drunks. Oh, you see that guy peeking out there with the mask on? Oh, look at all those Mickeys in the back seat here. This room in here, looks like this is like the car room. I used to have tons of these little tiny metal cars when I was a kid. Oh, look, I think we can actually play with this one. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, this was a, this was, this was fun back in the eighties when, uh, you would set up these tracks, prop up the cars here. I guess you hit that button and send them flying. Oh, there he goes. Sweet. In here, that's interesting. Shrek as a NASCAR driver. It's an interesting tie-in. Some Looney Tunes toys there. This little inlet here. It's a lot of old Disney toys. This is this Mickey Mouse here. This is from the 1930s. Snow White doll. Some old uh, Mouseketeer Club toys. All these Seven Dwarf items here. There's the VHS copy of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I wonder if that... That almost looks like a moldorama of Dopey there. So many Mickeys. I love this uh, Mickey Mouse phone here. Um, I think my aunt used to have one of those growing up. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And I don't think I've even seen this before. A goofy phone where he's kind of sleeping. And we have another style of the Mickey phone there. And look down here, we have one of the uh, one of the, the three amigos. No, not three amigos. <laughs> it's not uh, Martin Short. That's one of the three caballeros. I'm sorry. It's the little mermaid section. And if you look back there behind her, that is actually the original artwork for the VHS. Uh, I'm not going to point out exactly what makes it uh, so infamous, but if you know, you know. I think they may actually have more than 101 Dalmatians. All this Disney stuff here. Is that Minnie and Mickey? Is that like, I think those are like, a, is that an Epcot Minnie and Mickey? Yosemite Sam. Has Yosemite Sam been canceled yet? I don't know, oh, the guns probably aren't aren't very cool anymore. Check out these old school Mickeys here. I loved these uh, these coin-operated chickens outside of grocery stores when I was a kid. Um, it says don't insert money, this one doesn't work, but oh man, so cool. Here's a really cool sci-fi section. They got all sorts of cool sci-fi toys. Look at the little space astronaut there. These are all Buck Rogers, like laser guns. Some more space guns down here. Man, space guns are the coolest. Who, who's that guy? Who's that guy wearing a um, glittery, a glittery vest and, uh, and a weird black mask? These super cool space robots. Like that yellow guy right there. This giant guy here, he's the coolest. Oh, look at him. Yeah, a virtual army of these vintage robots. This guy's called Spaceman. It's a little Jurassic Park collection. And they have a giant Dukes of Hazard collection. See the cast of Dukes of Hazard right there? Some uh, Dukes of Hazard playing cards with an angry boss hog. Yeah, you can see the, the boss hog back there. I was actually a huge fan of the Dick Tracy movie that came out in the 90s. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I didn't know why I thought it was so cool. I just, uh, I loved it. I actually went as uh, Dick Tracy that Halloween. There's some even more awesome robots. Looks like some of these might actually be robots. So yeah, it says this one is remote control. So these might have been ones you could actually drive around your house. Oh, look at this robo fan. That's the best use of technology. They are creating robo fans. <laughs> oh man, I actually want a robo fan. It'll help keep me cool. And uh, this guy here, that is so cool. It's like some sort of just freaking giant green monster. 
Inspector Gadget toys. And there's his niece, Penny, who I guess was always the true hero. And uh, me, me and my friends, we always wanted a computer book like Penny had. I was excited that she comes with the computer book, which was, it's not really like a laptop exactly. It's like an actual book, it had pages, but it, the pages were computerized. Kind of hard to explain, but it was, it, trust me, it's awesome. There's the six million dollar man. Does anyone know uh, what the six million dollar man would be in today, adjusted for inflation? And there, uh, there's uh, his arch nemesis, Sasquatch. Going up the stairs here, oh, they have a, a mountain, a mountain of board games here next to the staircase. Very cool. I've never heard of half these games. There's the green tractor section, a lot of green tractors. What we got over here? Oh, a little kid's spaceship ride. Don't know who that character is there. It's riding in the spaceship, but uh, looks pretty neat. Apparently, nesting doll checkers is a thing. You play Tiddlywinks or King Kong the Game. Still beating up giant reptiles after all these years. See the infamous uh, Rubik's Cube there. And even some strange Rubik's Cube variations. I guess, uh, I guess we're like trying to uh, capitalize on the Rubik's Cube craze. We have Erector sets where kids could... Uh, Make their own wild creations. That you can make your own. Make your own circus. Some old science kits down here. Microscope sets. Back when kids could be trusted with just a big box full of dangerous chemicals. Heading downstairs into what appears to be the circus room. Oh yeah, look at that. Big old clown there. Oh, look at that clown right there. Look at all those different sock monkeys. Here's some non-sock monkeys. It's a Native American monkey. A monkey that blows bubbles. This is a monkey on roller skates. There's that creepy symbol monkey that seems to be following us from room to room. I guess he's called the musical Jolly Chimp. I don't know. He doesn't... Doesn't appear that jolly to me. That monkey's getting ready to munch on a banana. Here is Hot Rod Rides for 25 cents. Just hop aboard here with uh, this happy clown. It says these are Kmart Christmas bears. And this looks like some sort of bear mascot head. Another thing I loved at grocery stores was begging my mom to give me quarters so I could try to get something out of machines like this. I always went for some sort of toy and, um, you know, was constantly disappointed. <sighs> Clown riding an elephant there. Remember, my, uh, my little sister had this exact same jack-in-the-box there. Look at that, a uh, hobo clown uh, ventriloquist dummy. One of the coolest things in this whole museum is these scenes here from uh, Christmas Carol. You can see Ebenezer Scrooge right there. His uh, nephew Fred there. I think that's that Bob Bob uh, Bob Cratchit over there crunching numbers. Then here we see um, Scrooge being visited by the ghost of his former partner Jacob Marley. Here we see the first ghost takes Scrooge to the past and views the party, Fezziwig's party, that he went to as a boy. And the ghost of Christmas present takes Scrooge to uh, Bob Cratchit's house. And the ghost of Christmas yet to come takes Scrooge to the streets where people are talking about how Scrooge is dead and everyone's pretty happy about it. What day is it? Why, sir, today, today is Christmas Day. And here we see reformed Scrooge walking down the street with Tiny Tim. Oh. There we go. Hop on Bozo's school bus. We have a little car that you can ride with Elmo. And I'm not sure who this orange 
uh, monster character is, but uh, maybe a relative or friend of Elmo's. Another one of those glorious chicken machines. Oh man, I remember the remember the noise they used to make. It was like. A Russian nesting doll there, signed by Yakov Smirnov in Soviet Russia. Doll nests you. It's a Rush Limbaugh um, radio there. There's the Big Jim sports camper from the 1970s. You can see the uh, dolls there hanging out in their cowboy hats. A little wooden shack here. See the figures? It looks like a little boy dressed up like Davy Crockett. Here are Masters of the Universe figures, also known as many circles as He-Man. See him riding the horses. These were so cool. I just have to say, He-Man was so awesome. I, I loved you. I, I, I loved He-Man. This sign here says, of course we all know who the real Master of the Universe is. Um, I think they're talking about Jesus. So, let me see if I can remember these characters. I, I, some of the names are pretty simple, so I think that must have just been Crab Man. He's got a crab claw. That's, uh, oh, what is it? Prince. When he wasn't He-Man, he was a prince. Is it Prince Prince Adam? Prince Adam, I think? I don't know what this blue He-Man is. I, ugh. I was about to say that was Beast Man, but I know Beast Man is a different character. I had this suction cup guy, but I don't remember his name. Man, they really are slipping me. These are some, such cool characters, but I can't remember very many other names. Yeah, that one there, that's, that's Beast Man. And that is Orko, who I loved as a kid. You can see the Castle Grayskull playset there, with all the characters in it. There's Skeletor riding a panther. There's Beast Man. I think that's a uh, man of arms. Oh, and I love this guy. It's a ram man. He used his head as a battering ram. There, he man. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Yes, I just fell down on the floor because I was squatting in a toy museum. Okay, I think uh, they misplaced a figure because that's, that's Shredder from the Ninja Turtles. Whoops. Who the heck? Who the heck are these guys? <laughs> wow, anyone? No, okay. Ultra Force? What's Ultra Force? Does anyone remember these guys? Some, looks like some caveman action figures. And uh, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Guess now they're just gonna call both figures Potato Head. Some great 80s toys here from the Smurfs, which I definitely collected Smurfs. And uh, Garfield. Oh! Look at that, that's a Heathcliff. That's not Garfield right there, that's Heathcliff. Uh, I used to think Heathcliff was a ripoff of Garfield, but I think someone said that he was actually created first. Does anyone know the answer to that? And this is awesome, I'd love to have this. This is a Garfield fish bowl. I know a friend of mine used to actually have a goldfish that he kept in a Garfield. Some of my favorite uh, characters from my childhood, E.T., which was the first movie that I ever saw, and then Alf. I was completely and entirely obsessed with ALF. And um, these little figures here, these little puppets, they were given away by Burger King as prizes, but they were so hard to find. My mom would drive to Burger King every day to try to get one for me, and they never had one. I never got one until, <laughs> until I mentioned it on the YouTube channel and someone was kind enough to send me, uh, send me an ALF doll. Some Flintstone toys, you see Baby Pebbles. Up there, we got Fred on the back of his dinosaur at work. And I think that is a Fred Flintstone mask. Here's their Lego sections, and they actually have these original creations uh, made by different kids. I guess donated them to the Toy Museum. So very cool to have some unique creations. I always loved uh, the pirates, the pirate sets, and the knights in armor. I didn't care much about the space guys as much, but they're, they're still pretty cool. So much fun for kids, marbles, fake money, yo-yos. Oh, I spot a slinky up there. 
There's Gumby and Pokey dolls. Actually looks like someone may have been chewing on that Pokey a little bit, uh, but you know, that's just what we did the day. We just gnawed on our toys. Here's the sports section, a lot of sport toys or just straight up sports equipment. Of course, kids love to uh, play sports, including my favorite sport, pro wrestling. Some memorable figures here. It's Ric Flair, DDP, Buff Bagwell. That's Goldberg there in the front. The Big Show there with the blue tongue. It's George the Animal Steel. Oh, is that is that Sheiky Baby right there? Look at that happy boxing baby there, right in front of the Hulkster. Then we have gorgeous Jimmy Garvin and Big Scott Hall. Those are those are those are old school right there. Carlos Colon and Abdullah the Butcher. These boxers right here. Lots of little boxing gloves so kids can punch them, punch each other in the heads. This is an interactive feature. They have some Rock'em Sock'em robots. Let's see if I can knock this guy's block off. Punch, 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 punch. Oh, his block is almost indestructible. Oh, gotta get a little closer. There, knocked his block off. Clean off. These were another thing that was very sought after in the 80s, these California raisins. I think it was Hardee's. If I remember correctly, it was Hardee's that had the California raisins. I didn't even like Hardee's when I was a kid, and I would beg my parents to take me there just so I could get these little raisin guys. I didn't even know why I liked them, but I did. I, I, I had to have as many these silly raisins as I could possibly uh, hoard. All of these old school ventriloquist dummies. Now this is a fad I never really was interested in, the Beanie Babies fad. It says here on the sign that some of them still go for thousands at auctions. I had, I had thought that the bottom had fallen out of the Beanie Baby market, but uh, maybe not. Maybe there still, still are some valuable Beanie Babies out there. Here's some Gone with the Wind action figures. There's Ronald McDonald, the Hamburglar, and uh, oh, here's another McDonald Land character. The Professor. I See, I don't remember The Professor. I remember Ronald and, and his group of friends, but I don't remember someone called The Professor. There's some King plushies from Burger King. There's a stuffed Willie Nelson for some reason. I think that's the original Burger King King right there. Up here, some more food mascots. We got the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobiles, one of the most famous um, hot dog shaped vehicles of all time. Is that the, was that Nabisco? Is that some sort of pretzel man? And of course, Big Boy and the Shoney's Bear. Shoney's actually was a spin-off of Big Boy. Does anyone know what these weird uh, vegetables on bicycles are called? Yeah, you see Mr. Peanut up there. I remember when these home snow cone machines were super fun. You'd break them out and make a whole evening out of it. <laughs> There's a little home uh, soda tap. Look at that. Oh, the Green Giant and his little friend. What was his little friend? Was his name uh, Sprout, I think? A Chiquita Banana. And what is that? What is that weird little gremlin there? I don't recognize that. And who's Libby Libby Libby? There's the Pillsbury Doughboy and his family. You see some different dough people there. You know, when my wife was little, she would collect the uh, strawberry shortcake figures. Here's the strawberry shortcake villains. I don't know what the woman's name is. I think the, the guy is, is he the, is he the purple pie maker? He's evil, right? There's baby Robin Hood and cross-eyed Robin Hood right there. A Mother Teresa doll. <laughs> Back when people used to think Mother Teresa was great. Oh, black, black history section. Some uh, black uh, Raggedy Ann dolls up there. Some Fat Albert dolls. This is Hey 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 I'm a Cosby Kid. Yeah, Cosby's not um, not as uh, as beloved as he was at one point. Okay, Flip Wilson. This is I saw this at the um, St. Louis Wax Museum. Okay, they had a wax figure of him. Is he really popular here in Missouri? But uh, Flip Wilson, I guess he dressed up as this character for his variety show. It's Mr. T and uh, Martin Luther King. Some large size 
dolls here. Do you remember these Ghostbuster toys were a lot of fun? And uh, what else we got here? Okay. It's Archie and Jughead. What's the deal with that Riverdale show? Is it really about Archie and, and Jughead? And uh, going up here, some Saturday Night Live figures. There is the Church Lady, the Killer Bees, the Coneheads, Wayne from Wayne's World. Some famous puppets there. Oh, look at that. Look at that puppet. Look at, look at these ventriloquist dummies. Wonderful things. Look down here, this guy's name is Simon. Simon Says. Is that Crisco, the dancing clown? We have a Cabbage Patch doll collection. Of course, if you're really into Cabbage Patch dolls, head down to uh, Cleveland, Georgia and check out Babyland General. There's some of the classic long haired troll dolls. Of course, if you love troll dolls, you want to head to the Troll Hole in Ohio, an amazing museum dedicated solely to the troll dolls. More dolls this way. Oh, so many dolls. We're like in a, look at this, we're like in a maze. A maze of dolls. All right, heading in to the doll maze, I guess. Look, just look at these. Look how many dolls. Look how many black eyes. Black eyes staring at us. Black, like a shark's eyes. Oh, look at this. Got some Campbell Soup themed dolls. The Snoopy phone is here. We need to bring back, uh, bring back fun phones. Phones aren't fun anymore. I mean, they can do, you know, they can do everything you need them to do. You can watch anything you want, anytime, and have any bit of information you want. But they're not as fun. Up here, some Viewmasters. I still have a couple of these in my bunker. They were super fun. You put these discs in them, and you can see these like 3D scenes, so cool. You can see the Tom and Jerry motorcycle there. The kids can hop aboard. So the largest toy museum could not possibly be contained to one building. So we're actually gonna walk over here behind the main building and check out the rest of the collection. It's the Cannonball Express train engine. We got uh, Humpty Dumpty sitting there on top. It's a crane with a face on it. Is that from uh, Thomas the Tank Engine? This cool little bus out here. You can see we have various characters riding in. Fred and Barney, Spider-Man. There's Barbie hanging out with Mario. C-3PO with his best friend, uh, R2-D2. California Raisins uh, singing a jazz tune for everyone. Then uh, Kermit and Miss Piggy and Santa Claus, but who's who's that guy? Oh look, there's Waldo. All right, here's the second building here. You can see Ronald McDonald hanging from the porch there with two guns pointed directly at his skull. So there's a sign that this is also the National BB Gun Museum, which is pretty interesting. All right, entering here, the floor is actually made like a Candyland board, which is pretty cool. We have a Roy Rogers doll here to greet us. Following along here, looks like we're going into a railroad section. Wonderful collection. Pez dispensers. Always did kind of wonder what the point was, you know. It'd be, it'd be easier to stick the candy directly in your mouth, but you know, these were super fun. I do like these uh, spooky ones right here. But here we have these giant Playmobil figures. Oh wow, that may be the largest, most monstrous teddy bear I've ever seen. See this big old car here, just full of teddy bears, absolutely crawling with teddy bears. Even this grizzled old mechanic is delighted that bears are crawling all over him. Don't know what this pink creature is lurking over here. See here, there's a guy in a sleigh. I think that's my gas station attendant riding a sleigh through this wonderful collection of toys. 
and taxidermy. It says, don't monkey around in the toy museum. I'm watching you. All right, heading in here. This is actually the uh, BB gun museum. It's all these different types of BB guns. Just sit down right here and old Jeb will give you a back rub. So these are modern air guns or BB guns. Always seem dangerous to shoot little pieces of metal at other people. Oh, my grandma actually had one of these Native American figures. Yeah, lots of guns, guns, guns in here. Here's some uh, Howdy Doodies. Yeah, one of the most famous puppets there. His little freckled face. Yeah, it was the Daisy Red Rider BB gun that uh, Ralphie shot his eye out with. Here we have the Lone Ranger. And his friend, I believe, was Tonto? Is that correct? It's a mechanical red pig, meant for riding. See the mountain goat there? This big horn sheep says, uh, he's very old, please do not touch. Now, old taxidermy can actually contain arsenic, which is bad for your skin. Let's head over here, under the raccoon. And here we have old, honest Abe. We've entered the Star Wars section, greeted here by everyone's favorite character, Watto. No, I am your father. There's some Star Trek figures. Uh-oh, looks like they're having an all-out brawl here. Looks like maybe he's putting the uh, Vulcan death grip on him. Yeah, I used to have the Rancor when I was a kid, and I would just try to cram him full of rocks and sticks and leaves. Every once in a while, he would just barf out something that I don't even remember putting inside of him. It's a great toy. It's Job of the Hut. It's what kid wouldn't want to play with a giant slug smoking opium. No, I am your father. You can see Luke there battling with his father. Oh, I'm sorry, spoilers. <laughs> battling with his father, Darth Vader. While the, the no good stinking emperor looks on, trying to manipulate everybody. And then, uh, then Darth Vader kills him, but it turns out he wasn't killed, or maybe he was, but he comes, comes back. That's the important part. Look at this, Walt Disney's Tomorrowland Space Carnival. Looks like you can build different rides here. These are the ride capsules. It says, you can look, but you can't touch. It says, this is Iron Mike Tyson. Must be an early version of Mike. He doesn't yet have his trademark face tattoo. Does anyone else remember Shrinky Dinks? <laughs> I loved these when I was a kid. You cut the pla you colored them, then you cut them out of plastic, you put them in the oven, and then they shrank into these little hard, like glass-like things, and you could put them in a little stand. It's way, way more fun than it sounds. Looks like we have Captain Abarica right there. All right, we're now in a Barbie world. You can see the different figures there. Now lots of various Barbies. There's Barbie, I think, riding with another Barbie, being pulled by a pink horse. Barbie really loved the color pink, it looks like. And there we have a giant Barbie. Here we see a giant Raggedy Ann on a swing. Here's a Coke Man. Standing next to a Coke machine. Is he wearing Coke bottle glasses? Oh, look at that guy right there. You can actually have a play section where you can play with some of these famous toys. Are these, uh, these are Tinker, Tinker toys right there. There's a baby doll. You can open her eyes or close her eyes. Open, close, open, close, open. Close. And we have a Rubik's Rubik's Cube. This one has been abused slightly. Some Legos. You can make a Lego creation here. So 
Thank you for joining me at the world's largest toy museum. A truly overwhelming collection of toys. I could probably spend all year in there and not see every toy. As you said, there's over a million toys in the toy museum. I would definitely recommend checking it out if you're a fan of toys and you're here in Branson, Missouri. Um, if you like these videos, feel free to check out some of the older videos on this channel. I've been to all 48 continental United States filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun random things. If you'd like to make a suggestion on where I should go next, leave a comment in the comment section. If you'd like to help support the channel, Consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. And until next time, this one's in the bag.